Welcome to the Dataman 390 Quick Start video. In this video, we'll show you what to expect when unboxing the Dataman 390, setting up the hardware and connecting the reader to the web user interface. To unbox a brand new Dataman 390 reader, first remove and flatten the cardboard insert, then carefully slide the reader out. Do not use any sharp objects to avoid potentially damaging the reader. Right out of the box, the Dataman 390 is fully assembled with built-in lighting and a lens. To set up your new Dataman 390, you will need Mounting hardware for your desired application An X-coded Ethernet cable A 24-volt power supply with a power I.O. cable And a computer with access to a web browser to connect to the web user interface The first step to set up the Dataman 390 is to mount it to a stand Start by attaching the camera to the selected mounting bracket. On the back of the Dataman 390, there are four threaded holes. Align them with the corresponding holes on the mounting bracket. Place the included bolts through the aligned holes into the back of the camera. Tighten the screws with a screwdriver to secure the camera. Next, mount the bracket to the stand. This step will differ depending on the style of stand you are using. In this video, the angled mounting bracket is being secured to the stand using a nut and a bolt. Once again, use a tool, in this case an Allen wrench, to make sure the hardware is secure. Adjust the bracket as needed so that the camera is pointed down to where the objects will be presented. Position the camera at a slight angle to reduce reflections and improve the performance of the vision system. The next step in the setup process is to connect the reader. First, plug the X-coded cable head of the TL Ethernet cable into its respective port on the back of the reader. The Dataman 390 has two Ethernet ports available for use, but in this video we will only connect to the Ethernet 0 port. Check the position of the pins and key on the inside of the cable head to avoid bending any of the pins which could damage the cable. Next, plug the other end of the cable into your computer. To power the device, start by connecting the M12 cable flying lead with the 24-volt power supply box. The red wire should connect to the plus 24-volt screw terminal, and the black wire connects to ground. Then plug the other end of the cable into the respective port on the back of the camera. Check the position of the key inside the cable head before plugging it into the camera to prevent any damage. Then tighten the threaded nut to secure the cable in place. Once the 24-volt power supply has been connected, the green LEDs on the top of the camera will start lighting up, indicating that the camera is powering up. Wait until the reader beeps to indicate that it has successfully powered on before trying to connect to the reader. There are a few different ways to launch the device's web user interface, using Dataman Setup Tool, Station Manager, or just a web browser. In Dataman Setup Tool, find the reader in the device list. The status will either be shown as discovered or misconfigured. Then right-click on the device and select Open Web UI in Browser. Station Manager is software that can be downloaded from Cognex.com on the Dataman 390 Getting Started page. In Station Manager, select the reader from the list of Cognex devices on your network and click the Connect button to launch the user interface in a web browser. You can also enter the IP address, host name, MAC address, or serial number into the address bar of a web browser to open the web user interface directly. Your Dataman 390 is now ready for configuration through the web user interface. For more information on how to set up your reader within the web user interface, check out the other videos in the Dataman 390 setup series. For assistance registering your device and accessing additional resources on Cognex.com, scan the QR code on the card included in the box. Thank you for watching.